Cops is about real people and real crime. It was filmed entirely on location with the men and women who work in law enforcement. This program was filmed during a one-week period with the Broward County Sheriff's Department in Florida. All suspects are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Broward County is a unique area. To the east of us, we have the Atlantic Ocean. To the west of us, we have a big swamp called the Everglades. Because of the fact that we have all those waterways, we have, have a tremendous labyrinth of canals that make the place very appealing to uh, drug smugglers. And here is where we face this type of individuals on a daily basis. disgusting sights. This is another another bedroom in here. That's a bed where they sleep in. Now this this is this is the crack altar over here. This is where they uh, smoke their crack. There is the uh, paraphernalia, all the things are used for that. And uh, down here in the floor is the toilet. This is what they use for the toilet right there. This is what a, uh, a typical crack house looks like. That's why we are so determined to uh, close down all these places. Hazer reporting live from Broward County. Another Florida police officer has been gunned down in the line of duty. The driver went to his trunk to retrieve his identification, but instead pulled a gun and opened fire. <laughs> It's always going to happen to someone else. It's, it's not going to happen to you. I can tell you one thing. I've been to too many funerals already. We had more police officers killed in the state of Florida in 1987 than they had in the state of New York. And that has always been traditional, the place where most death occur of uh, police officers. Just wondering. Sharon, get off the phone, honey. I need the phone right now. There's a fire down at the port. I just got talking to the duty officer, okay, please? Oh, okay. Is it any of the other flammables storage around that place? Any potential, any of those things spreading out to the tanks? 
All right, if you see any potential of anything spreading away from that area and, and getting any bigger, please let me know right away and I head down that way, okay? Thank you, my friend. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm sorry, honey, that's the way to come home, but that's the way it has been all day. Another, mm -hmm. another beautiful day in Broward County. This spectacular blaze was the worst chemical fire ever at Port Everglades. For several hours, exploding barrels of chemicals made it nearly impossible to fight. Fire investigators say it may take days to determine the cause of the blaze. At Port Everglades, Don Dare, Channel 6 News. Another clothing description. Authority of District 6 PSO and Ebola dispatch clear 2140 Chill into a five year clear. Yep, 200. We have all the perimeters set up at this time. If 205 could respond to the 2800 block of 9th Street, cover that position. Things can turn at any moment's notice but because of the violence and the weapons that are in the neighborhood and because of the drug related crimes. Come on the car. Put your hands on the car. You got anything in the car I should know about? You got any drugs or any weapons? Do you mind if I look? Do you mind if I look? Okay. Just relax. Just relax. Okay. Just want to take a look. What's... I just asked you if you got any weapons underneath the seat. What's this? What's this? It's called carrying concealed firearms. You understand? Whose car is this? Who? Your car? You got some papers for it? Well, I smell marijuana. You know, I smell somebody smoking marijuana. Who, Simpson? You don't mind if we look in the trunk, do you? OK, no problem. How's everybody doing? We're here just to look for some drugs and clean up the bad people off the street. You don't mind that, do you? Yeah, I got to go arrest somebody. I know it. <laughs> it's a game out here. That's all it is. Cat and mouse game. Some days they win, some days I win. That's all it is. Now, what you can do sometimes, you can sit right here. And you'll see the white guys come in here and make a right turn on 29 Way to buy their dope. 97. Just watch them. And then when they go down the street, you give them about a minute, and they go around the corner, and there they are dealing. I'm down the street. I see you making a drug deal right in front of that apartment complex. Did you tell me I didn't see what I saw? I was just driving by, sir. You stopped by my car. Yeah. yeah. And what was the exchange going on? There was no exchange at all, officer. Okay. You, you just hold, you just stay there and don't move. Where do you think you're going, pal? I'm lost. No, you're not. I'm from Cal I'm not even from around here. No, you're not. I'm from California. You got some ID? Yeah. Let's look at it. But you know what happens over here to white guys like you? Huh? No, sir. But what happens is they usually get yanked out of the car, if, they, if you look easy. Then they'll put a gun to your head, pistol whip you, and take your car. Is that worth $10 worth of grass? You came to buy drugs? Well, you know what? I appreciate your honesty. Because uh, if you're going to be straight with me, I'll be straight with you. If your license is good, I'll give you a little slap on the wrist until you'll be on your way. And then I, I don't want to see you around here again. Does that sound fair? Yeah. No, I don't need you. Oh. I don't need you. I'm just, I'm just trying to get these white boys to stop from coming in here. All right. <laughs> you see me? I'm the only white face in this area besides other cops. You don't belong here, OK? It has nothing to do with white or black. It has to do with crimes against persons. People that come over here to buy drugs get involved in serious crimes. Come over to the car here. OK, just sit in the back of the car until we confirm because there might be a warrant for your arrest. You just sit in the back. Relax. Well, we have to get a confirmation number. What is, what is it for? Violation of probation? Yeah, I said, didn't I say, if you come back clean, you're on your way. Well, if there's a warrant for your arrest, we can't let you go. Get back out and put your hands on the car and make sure you're not holding anything. There's your wallet. Henry, what are you doing? No! 210, 1031. 210, I'm going southbound on 29 Terrace. We have a 99 on a white male. He's got blue, long pants on and a white shirt. Heading towards Sunrise. Uh, 
Stop, I'll shoot you in the back. You stay the hell back. You don't get out of here. I'm gonna jail you. I don't care. Hit on this guy, put him in there, shut the door. Okay? Can't leave him like that. Give me a seven for this thing. What, what street is this? Is this a long place? I'm off, Mr. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You got no reason to talk. Hello? Okay, can you come over tomorrow for a 3 o'clock meeting for about a half hour? All right, thanks for calling. All right, bye. And you know that we can't pay for when they travel out of town. They'll kick it back. Well, it's just a of grass. Hello? Mm -hmm. Well, forget it. The crack thing comes first, and, you know, this teaching stuff's going to just tell them I said you can't do it. They told us they wanted to start tomorrow, taking the cars. Why? That's what they just said. Yeah, start today. Okay. Which station are they coming into? Greyhound? Greyhound. You know, as soon as we get the case numbers, we'll do it. We'll see. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to, uh, we're going to be doing some stuff this evening. And so I want you to meet us over the, uh, the train station at 530 with that drug dog. What happened yesterday? All right, Captain, we got a guy with four uh, ounces of cocaine. We were able to make an undercover buy from him. We got him. We got fingerprints from the, uh, the distributor on the bag. So we're going to follow up with a search warrant and an arrest warrant, pick them up. How about search warrants tonight? Are you working on any of them? Yeah, we got, we got two or three of them for tonight. We're getting ready to go on them. All right, see you later. Okay. Yeah, Vicki? All right, let's meet over at the train station. And we only got a few minutes, so let's get over there pretty quick. I'm over at Commercial 95 now. Okay, I'll be there, and I'll meet you there in 10 minutes. Do I have the dealers? Yeah, we got, yeah, we got some good shit now. Okay. Okay. She's been sitting there for a while. Okay, do something real stupid, and you're gonna die, okay? So put your hands on the wall. What do you got? Got a scale? How much coke? I don't wanna touch it, really. Oh, you got a kilo. Get it in your front. All right, just take it out by the edge. Yep, got a kilo of cocaine. I told you he looked good, didn't I? But get the female, too. She's going. Do you understand that? So I don't have to answer any questions? You don't have to answer anything. My God, look at this money. Good. Holy Christ. Look at this. No, tell him. You got hundred bucks. You got look at this look at this money. Look at this. All right, just keep that stuck here. Let Ed bring in the dog real quick for a second. All right. There's two kilos in there. I mean things like that we need to know. Have you ever been arrested before? How old are you? 
Twenty. Okay. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you gonna throw up? If you're gonna throw up, you just bend over and throw up. No need to throw up. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Loosen these cuffs up. His hands are turning a little bit purple. You know, think about it because uh, it's just 15 years mandatory minimum in jail. And you'll be sitting there till you're 35. Mary, let's get a statement from her. This fence is broken in spots here. This is an abandoned car. This is an abandoned car. This is a mobile vehicle. It should be parked there. It's raining. All right, well, you need, well, you need some for the uh, back, cover well, the back row, and then in yeah, case what else? Look Captain, outside. that's what we're saying, but we've got a small entry team because it, if it's like usual, they're all going to be outside, only one or two inside. Because of the rain, they all it may be inside. It might be better off that it's raining. Tell you yeah, the they may they all, all be in there. Be inside inside now. Now. The yeah, Everybody know their assignments? Also check the door. Just remember, they had that, you know, that cop, that narc in Miami Beach, he died. He was shot in the head. But, you know, watch out, stay low, and don't take your eyes off these people because you know they got guns. You get them every day. Oh my goodness, home sweet home. Hey, where the hell's the other part of the blender? Probably in the dishwasher. The phone. A real typical Hello. evening in the kitchen yeah. right home. Good. All right, see if you can make it by seven. Yeah. All right? All right, bye. one deal through the house, nine or ten people outside, all holding the packages probably outside, although they sold out of the house. It cuts down the entry team. Wishner, Frank, and Howie. Take a runner. Take Seal the outside. Put your sledge up here. Hey, man, there's a sledge back behind you. <laughs> Let's do it. I heard something went on at the train station last night. We made a bus over there. TV more important than talking to me about your your drug bust right now? I'm watching Superman. I know, but you always watch Superman. You always watch TV. What is this, 20 questions? Well, I want to know what happened last we night. We made an arrest with, with uh, we got a kilo of cocaine and about $97,000 in cash from a guy, some dirt bag. Oh, oh, Superman, this is Was it just a guy? And a girl. Where were they going? On a bus. Yeah, but where were they going? I mean, I don't know. They were going some. They were getting... Was it a train or a bus? Um, yeah, it was a train. They were going to catch a train. Can't you turn the TV off and spend some time with me? In well, the when kitchen? I come home, I want to relax and I watch TV to relax. I know, TV but you relax. can relax in there with me. You're like an interrogator. I know, but it's because I don't see you all day, and I just want to know what goes on. And if, you, if I can't sit and talk to you about it, the only way I find out is through phone conversations. That's my best way of getting information out of you, is to sit and listen to your phone conversations. What do you do? Plug the telephone? No, but I have to sit out here when you're on the phone and try to listen in between the lines to get the information on uh, what goes on at work. I find it very interesting. You just don't take time to share it with me. I find, why do you think I married you? Because you were a cop. Because I thought our lives would be exciting. There would be a lot of communication. There's none. Well, I don't want, when I go to work, I don't want to bring it home and keep talking about it. Yeah. Well, that's part of your life that I want to be a part of, though. That's what you don't seem to understand. And that's why the last year or so, our communication is down to zero, because you don't want to talk about it, and I beg you to talk. I'll bring you home copies of the police reports. You've told me that for years. You never bring me home anything. All right, well, I've never been honest with you, and I have to be now. All that stuff is top secret, and if I tell you about it, I'll have to kill you afterward. <laughs> okay, tell them this is the house right here on the corner. This is it. This is it on the corner. This is it. All right, slow it down. Slow it down, Carmine. Slow it down. A lot of action out front. All right, this is the place. Right, slow it down, slow it down. Carmine. Slow it down. We're here. Okay, go. 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 Okay, to the beat. To the beat. Right here. This is the house. Right here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Go right here. Police. Search warrant! Go, go, go.
be in here. Where the police? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. Police. Get down. Put your hand back, man. Man, you must be stupid. What do you do, huh? I'm glad it's over, man. He's big, man. I'm Come on, move! Come, Come back. Come on, sir. Come on, Come on, sir. Come on, Got him. Lock him up. What is it? Crack. Parlays. Right. Hey, you might want to get the camera over here. Yeah! Cocaine. It's probably starch. Idiots. In the old lady's mitten bag. Oh, in my... <laughs> yeah, it's some parlays in here. Yeah! More we got right in, in mommy's knitting bag. All right, give me five. Give me five. Oh. Check a shotgun for me. Serial number is four hotel, 261726, 12 gauge. Correction, that's a 20 gauge. Wait, you got a handgun in your room here, sir? I see bullets. There's bullets in your drawer. Let me make sure I understand this. We get two guns out your room, one shotgun, sawed off shotgun. We find a bottle of cocaine base rocks. You've been arrested for before for cocaine, and you're gonna tell me you don't know nothing about this. So that's in the past. What happened in the past? In the past. No, no, we found the rocks a few minutes ago. We found uh -huh. the guns a few minutes ago. You were here. You tell me you stay in this room. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your mother's. Is that a possibility? Because you know what we're going to do? We're going to arrest everybody in this house. But if you're going to put it on me, put it on me. Well, is it yours? No, it's not mine. Then why you want me to put it on you? Well, go ahead. You ain't going to take my parents to jail. Well, we're taking everybody in this house to jail. This is a rock house. OK. When you deal cocaine, you should have thought of that your parents live here. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. We found cocaine in your mama's room. Maybe that wasn't hers. Maybe you put it in there. Cocaine in everybody's room. Guns everywhere. People out in your yard running when the police throwing cocaine rocks in every direction. You don't know nothing about that, do you? What's that? Maybe you was watching the Dick Van Dyke show. Mm -hmm. Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous. You're not? No. Shaking a little bit, sweating a little bit. It's hot. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm hot too. Nothing you want to do for me? Ain't nothing I can do, sir. You gonna go down big time. You remember when that judge put you in prison that I tried to give you this opportunity. Re remember that for me, okay? Okay, go sit down. Can you have me loose up a little bit, sir? Yeah, I'll talk to him out there about that. If you change your mind, you let me know before they put you in that wagon. Nobody A homicide is the ultimate sin. And I would say, therefore, it's the ultimate kind of crime to investigate. I'm often asked by the press, was this a senseless murder, uh, when they come upon the scene of a murder? And to me, I believe murder is a senseless act. Now, they've been doing 41s. She's hooking. She's picking up a, uh, a John. He's been robbing him. I got something to the effect, either give it up or this is a jack. One of those two phrases were used. He flees. Boom, boom, he gets shot there. He hops over the fence. They're chasing him, boom, 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 into the field. He's shot like eight times. He's out. I'll tell you who, who might know her is Joe Williams. No, he Joe didn't, because I got Joe's hooker file. Homicide. I was contacted at approximately 9 a.m that a body had been found floating in a canal. It is a very popular area for our more professional criminal element to dispose of bodies. Get a cowboy from Davie to come lasso this guy. I, no, normally when we, when we get a body out of a canal, uh, you know, any natural environment, which we find marine life, normally we find the lips, the eyelids, or the ears uh, eaten away. Because when we see clothes on the side like this, so one of the things that we're looking on uh, to see is anything that would suggest that the victim took the clothes off himself or that somebody took the clothes off of the victim. They look like they may be inside out. Usually when they're inside out, that's a sign that perhaps somebody else took them off. 
you know, because if I take your clothes off, I'm probably just going to be peeling them back down, and they tend to come out inside out. I tell you, you know, I'm surprised to see that he hasn't been uh, chewed up. With all the uh, wildlife in here, you'd think that... Uh, they won't touch it until it's rotten. So I guess they know what good is. Yep. He doesn't have a tattoo. He doesn't have any signs of gunshot wounds or stab wounds. Uh, he's nude, no trauma to the body. We just uh, secured the body from the waterway onto the shore, and he has no visible trauma. We have a case number of... Um, 88615932. Okay, and you're gonna notify the professional body removal people? <laughs> well, there was no trauma to the body, right. so uh, I mean, we could safely assume at this point that it doesn't appear to be a homicide. But uh, we, yeah, I, would, I would tend to agree with that. I think the only question here is if it's a natural death or a suicide, suicide. or a drug overdose or something like that. But, yeah. God, is it hot. This is unbelievable. We got into a situation last night where a woman distracting the deputies there. We were trying to be polite and nice to her. Uh, they had the guy sitting down. They didn't have him cuffed. Uh, Jerry turns around to the woman, and the guy took off, causing me at my old age to chase this man. OK? Oh, my god. Not very far, mind you. <clears throat> but Jerry chased him and said, I better catch this man before the lieutenant kills me. <laughs> if we had secured this individual initially, we wouldn't run into the problem. I could tell you for the next two hours <clears throat> what it's like to be a police officer, but you will never know until you actually do it yourself and place somebody under arrest or get into a pursuit or get in a fight because that badge carries a lot of weight One of the reasons why uh, I'm with Linda is because she's a police officer also. What's nice about her is that she's very feminine on one level, but she's also very strong. What a 297 area. What's how we want a 297? And here's a prostitute. She's going to return to the motel. You're just going to meet your friends in your high heels on Federal on State Road 7? I don't have a driver's license. Where's your ID? I don't even have ID. Why don't you put some clothes on before you walk around here? Ma'am, I've been walking for a long time. Let me see, what do you have? I see you stop in traffic or even so much as turning around for vehicles. You're going to jail. Get off the road wearing dress like that. Where do you live? Well, give me some ID then, baby. Oh, I can tell you've done this before. I've never hit, I've been arrested. I've never been for hit prostitution. Let me tell you something. Don't hitchhike over here no more. Well, I was thumbing. I don't, okay. hey, I don't Thumb, fit. thumb somewhere else. Okay. All right? I'm no whore because I hate the bitches because I know my old man's brother and brother's wife and all of them would do it. That, I need a right. ride. I got to go get my, I got to go get my clothes. Good. Get off my streets. I like to take it one step at a time. You have to remember when you're when you're when you're dating another woman that has a gun, you got to be very careful. <laughs> you don't want to piss her off. If your husband gets out of line, you just shoot him, <laughs> and then you claim self-defense. <laughs> CJ is almost two years old now. I'm the only, I guess, dominant male figure in his life, so he does kind of think I'm his father. And now that Linda and I are planning to move in together, I guess he'll really believe I'm his father. Want to eat something? Well, at first it was very scary. I mean, I'll be honest with you. You know, when you, when you, when you sit down and you say, I'm getting involved with a woman that already has two children and you say to yourself oh god why, you know why am i doing this uh obviously you have to care for that person very much to, to to get involved in that situation and you have to accept them and accept the children honey police officer dies from injury <clears throat> 
Scott Ray called the Miami Beach police officer shot in the head by a man he was chasing, died on Thursday without regaining consciousness. I don't believe it. No, 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 no. I'm a deputy sheriff with the Broward County Sheriff's Department. And what are your duties as a deputy sheriff at this time? I'm a sergeant in the Organized Crime Division, and I'm currently the supervisor of the Airport Interdiction Unit. It's a unit comprised of several deputies assigned to the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, whose sole responsibility is the seizure of illicit narcotics as they're transported out of the state of Florida and the arrest of those involved. Thank you very much. Okay. We're narcotic officers. We're out here what? at the narcotic Do officers. Do I look like I'm on drugs? No. Uh. Do you have your uh, passport on you? You know, if I had blonde hair and blue eyes, I'd be OK, right? Yeah. Well, you, know. you know what? They don't even have a look anymore. <laughs> no, they don't. I can't yeah. tell a drug smuggler from a Girl Scout anymore these days. You need my Just anything with your name Somebody on it. I think you should worry about more people are carrying guns and drugs. You want to lower your voice? You can worry about bonding out of jail this afternoon. You're in an airport. You're in a secure area. Keep your voice down. It's very hard to go to work in the morning and be a very tough person when basically I'm not a very tough person. And then go home with my two boys and try to be the soft mommy again like I was when I left in the morning. Ryan, give your old mom a kiss. Oh. Growing up, I knew nothing other than police work because my father was always a policeman. He was a policeman before I was born. Ready? I was in junior high school the day my father made chief of police. And a Cuban girl, who I guess didn't like police officers, she just beat me to a bloody pulp. Said it was because I was a little piglet. I see you in the morning, okay? Good morning. Hello. I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly what's good about it. I'm glad everybody's here on time. We're narcotic officers. We make routine contact with the traveling public every day. Nothing special. Carl. See my bag too. Hi, you been through this before or what? Well, Wait, let me let me do my speech. I'm real good at this. No, that's okay. Just take my bag out. <laughs> that's all right. You have a good trip, okay? All right. Bye bye. Oh. My partner and myself, we're narcotic officers. What mm -hmm. we like to do is check your bag for narcotics. If you don't no have problem. any objection, we can do it right here. I don't have to take anywhere. Oh. Okay, that's that's it. How about your other bag? You have any to open there? No. Okay. I swear. Have a good trip. <laughs> okay. How old are you? 19, 20. Just turned 20. Okay. My partner and myself, here, we're narcotic officers. <laughs> We have a really big problem with people trying to smuggle drugs out of the state of Florida. That's hey, what we do. Search me. So yeah. we make, you have any problem with that? Yeah, no problem. Great. Put your hands up. Cop. They freak out, huh? Are you a cop? <laughs> no. Because if I open up that other bag and there's a gun in there, I'm going to have to pull you well, off you the airplane. Do you have a warrant to do all this and stuff? Like, is it kind of embarrassing with you? Yep. I'd like to see a warrant. No, we're doing it with you. Collaborate. Now you no, want a warrant? Like, no, because this is ridiculous. Look at this. Go ahead. You can do it. But that's, you know, okay. I don't like this. This is stupid. Okay. Is that your other bag? That's not your bag? No. All right, that's okay. fine. It might look like your bag and not be your bag. My bags look alike, no problem. You guys have a warrant? For it's not your bag. I don't need a warrant. Okay, you abandoned the bag. Who is that your bag? Is this your bag? Is this your bag? I'll stop searching if it's your bag. Yeah, it's my bag. Well, now it's your bag? I want you to. Be very, very careful that you understand every single word I tell you. Right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Don't go anywhere. I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. You have the right to refuse to answer any questions without the presence of a lawyer. But if you can't afford a lawyer, we give you a lawyer. Now, do you understand that? Yep. Now, let me explain something else to you. Can you you are guys not, get that out of here, please? You are not under arrest. I know. But you are no longer free to leave. You are in my care and custody. All right. Great. Would you close it up? Are you sure that let me have them. Put What's your it? hands behind your back. Why is this? Put your... Wait, don't, wait. don't. Don't even back. think about it, mister. Wait. Put your hands behind your back. All right. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Don't. Right. I'm not going to... Don't resist. You'll make it a lot. Don't be okay. stupid. All right. You got them? Don't. Wait. Get out of here! Get this out of here! Stupid. Take that. No, take that. Watch that bag! Watch the bag! Okay. 
Keep it. This is dumb. Hey, sport. Just bring your arm behind you. All right, all right. Get him down. Watch right. that bag. Hold it. Bring your arm behind you. We got it. Okay, get his arm. Yep. I told you not to be stupid. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't think property. it was going to go so bad. Property, so to the back, okay? You are hereby commanded to enter and search forthwith the premises above described and the curtilage thereof for the property above described, serving this warrant and making the search in the daytime or nighttime as the exigencies may demand or require or on Sunday with the proper and necessary assistance, and if the property above described be found there, to seize it and to arrest all persons in the unlawful possession thereof, leaving a copy of this warrant and a receipt for the property taken, and prepare a written inventory of the property seized and return this warrant. Cocaine, about six ounces. Possession of a stolen firearm, no less. What else are you going to do? <laughs> So now you have six ounces of cocaine, and not only do you have a gun, you have a stolen gun. Well, I ran into a little trouble, baby. Well, I got arrested. I just want you to know, I don't want you to wait or any stupid shit like that, okay? Look, I love you and all, but I just can't end it, all right? I'm gonna call my mom now. I just wanted to let you know. Bye. Hi, Ma. How are you? I was a friend, I guess. Uh, I just wanted to call and say goodbye. I'm going away for a while, Ma. Okay. Oh, right. when you get up there. Okay, Ma. Well, I'll give you a call when I get there. Get it I don't want any help or nothing or no nothing. All right. I just want you to know that I love you. Bye. I think I've discovered over the last ten years that anybody is vulnerable to the almighty dollar. I arrest juveniles carrying $100,000 worth of cocaine. I arrest people 70 years old smuggling cocaine. And they do it for the almighty dollar. Another day. Another day, another dollar.